Hi guys, Dudorentor, Learn Spain here, and today I will be showing you how to use the new Red Game 3, which is a redstone computer I built. If you're watching this, it has been released. The download will be in the description. So firstly, this is the main control room, all we will be worrying about in this video. There are other videos about all the other parts of the computer, but I'll be showing you how to use the demo program. Anyway, this is the control room. Above us is the control floor B for interfacing with the program and this is uh, control floor A for the computer operation controls. So in this floor you control anything relating to startup, shutdown and how it runs the program and what happens when the computer is running the program or how it runs the program and whatnot. And the floor above is for using the program. So like giving it inputs, letting you see the outputs, stuff like that. But this is where you actually turn it on and off. There's a lot of controls here, I know, but don't worry, you don't need to know how all of these work when using the computer. If you're a basic guy, all you need to worry about is this little yellow section here. You've got the on button, or wake up, you've got the off button, which turns off the computer, you've got the sleep button, which pauses the computer, and lets you save and quit without it crashing and to wake it up you just push the on button again and a little indicator to show whether it's on or off then some programs might need an RNG you can turn that on here um, you can turn that off because I currently have 16 FPS and well it doesn't seem to be dropping when I'm recording because it's being limited by the graphics card fancy talk for it's not going to lag so, but usually turning on the RNG does lag, especially on servers. Lag meter, most useless piece of equipment on this in this entire computer. Um, error handling panel, I'll show you what that is in another video. Um, here you've got the speed control, so if you have a laggy computer, like mine, you can turn the speed to meh. So this is slower and that's faster so that's for controlling how fast you want your computer to run this here is the error reporting window it's linked to that error control panel obviously I'll talk about that in another video this is debug only worry about this if you're actually developing programs or debugging because that's really what it's supposed to be for and then finally this blue panel is the shutdown reason so if the computer is running and you and the power indicator turns off, you want to know why. Look up here. User shutdown means the reason why this line turned off is because you wanted it to. You push the off button. Crash. Um, well, the computer crashes. Not too complicated. And software shutdown is when the program decides to turn off the computer. So in this case, it's programmed with a multiplication program, which will multiply a number and display it on the display over there and then turn itself off but as you know it doesn't run for infinity some programs can run for infinity like games okay now how to reuse this computer or how to run a program first you enter the numbers in binary binary isn't that hard you just use the levers in combination so if you want to enter 10 use 8 and 2. Don't worry, you can make any number to from 0 to just above a thousand with all these levers. Each one represents a number, so you just do a little bit of math to enter numbers. There will eventually be a numpad here or something. But for now, that's how we're doing it. So let's do f uh, 5 times 4. Go to 4 and 1 and so that's step one enter your number here and make sure input one is off yes by the way our toggle flip flops see so turn make sure this is off and enter your number and the computer must be off as well then jump down here i'm turning down the speed because my computer lags when i'm recording don't need it to lag anymore yeah it's lagging anyways but Okay, so this runs, then this lamp will turn on. Enter next number. 
So this is this panel is entirely controlled by the program. We are now running a program. One more thing, this isn't a calculator, people. This is a full computer. We got a graphics pro processor screen over there and whatnot. They can run games and I'm eventually going to make it render 3D shapes on the screen. Using basic 3D, I'll discuss that in yet another video. Anyways, we're doing 5 times 4, so that was 5. Now we're entering 4. And then you push this button. And that will turn on that switch. Wait for um, indicator D to turn off. and then we turn this off and now we wait for the number to update on that screen over there well we do because it takes a while on its slower speed and its software multiplication which means there is no actual multiplication function is performing a really complicated algorithm to calculate this the answer um, I'll show you an error detection system so if there's a warning or an error, one of these lamps will turn on, depending on what it is. So if it's a warning, the warning lamp will turn on, obviously. And, well, you can choose whether to shut down on warning. Or it will shut down on error, because errors are unavoidable. So this lever is up, because warnings, such as this one, I'll show you what it is over there, It's they're supposed to happen in this program because of the way it calculates stuff. So just keep that switch up or it'll crash. And the error or warning, as it's in yellow, is shift underflow. Which is a bit of... Well, ugh, it's too complicated to explain right now. So when the program's done, you can just hit clear errors. And if it annoys you, you can pull up the log errors. But for this program, do not pull down shutdown on one last thing, the sleep button will put the computer on pause. Just giving you a quick demonstration of that. You can't really see the lag difference because recording's already making enough lag. But yeah. Eventually this lamp will turn off when the program's done running, which should be soon. And then the software shutdown lamp should turn on. Hopefully not the crash indicator and that will indicate that the program is done running and the number is available on that screen also don't one more thing don't change the speed while the computer's running that's stupid and it's going to cause problems possibly even a crash but most of the time changing the speed while the computer's running isn't detected so here it is it's done the computer's now off the reason it's off is because the program is done running and the answer should be displayed on our display right here which is 16 and 4 if you can do math you would know that that is 20 you will also know that 16 plus 4 is equivalent to 4 times 5 yeah, and I guess that's it um, thanks for watching and I hope you like my computer demo demonstration please note that the program doesn't seem to be foolproof yet. I wouldn't recommend doing math that has answers with three digits, even though it should be able to process three digits. Uh, due to the way it works and calculates, it will might not work. So it's the program itself is a little glitchy, but the computer itself should be working completely. If you find something that isn't working in the computer, when making programs for it, which I will sh show you in a later video. I'll just do a fly around. Um, I will show you how to make programs for it in a later video, which by the way is this. Because this isn't just a calculator, it runs a program. This is a code that it runs. Well, the comments of the code, this is the actual code over there. It does four functions at the same time. So you should be able to make your own programs with it with the manual. A lot of you are going, oh, Gosp manual, I'm never reading that. Screw the manual, I'm just down in this world and I'm gonna expect completely know how I'm supposed to operate it. Well you're probably not. If you decide to not use the manual, then 
don't report bugs because it's most probably you doing something incorrectly. If the manual's unclear, you can also e email me about that. My email address is in the manual for the reason to prevent, you know, people who don't know what they're doing and just reporting crazy bugs, which are actually features like it's not turning on. Did you try pushing the on button? Kind of problems. So, to prevent idiots who don't read the manual from emailing me, my strategy is to include my email in the manual. So that's it, thanks for watching, hope you like it. Um, the program shouldn't work with big numbers, but the computer can, with normal math. I'll include a hardware division system later. There's also a serial system, which you can make devices for. So if you're interested in building stuff, you can build serial on a printer, you can make a printer, you can make gigabytes and gigabytes of RAM for this computer if you can manage to fit that on the map. I probably don't think you can. This for example is the example serial device. All it does is it takes in serial and it then sends it back to the computer. It's an echo device. It's just an example and it includes the templates for the send the receiver and the sender. And there's a few signs telling you what does what and how to use it. But um for the fifth time probably. That's it. Thanks for watching, comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Twitter and whatnot. Maybe look at my LOS videos or more videos on how this computer works and um, have fun with it